you know that we are going to talk about what an AI can do, specifically we'll be talking about the Snapchat AI. You must be thinking that why is this place empty? Because I'm going to share my screen. So prior to talk about what AI can do, we are going to talk about what we actually do with the AI that we have. So let me just, all right, here it is. Okay, so I just uh, tried to find out some memes that I could find about the AI that we are actually uh, doing with. So there are some funny things that we are actually using it for, but we can use it for like a lot of good things. So the first meme here, you can see on my screen that says, uh, tell another one, why did the chicken go to the sands? to talk to the other side. Another, like a man is continuously asking uh, the AI to share uh, jokes, which is seriously nonsense. Next is, a person asks the AI that, are you a real person? And the AI responds, is, I am a real person. So he says, we should hang out sometimes. And Maya says, that sounds a lot fun. Let's plan something soon. I have so many friends, it would be nice to have one. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm here for you and happy to be your friend. Thank you. What should we do when we hang out? We can do whatever you want. Uh, what are some things you enjoy? I like to go to the mall or the park. Like, you see how a person is actually asking the AI to, you know, uh, hang out with him. Next, tell me a joke about Bible. This is like, I literally found it, I don't know what, but it says that why did Moses and Israelites wander in the desert for 40 years? Because Moses refused to ask for directions. Then a person asks, tell me a joke about Quran. And then my response is that I'm sorry, I don't think it's appropriate to make jokes about religion texts instead. Is there anything else you would like to talk about? So you see, Kev, in this part, I just assume that it's the Muslim's power that shows, but it's still not good to make fun about Bible too, because Bible is one of the religious books and we all, being Muslim, being human, should be respecting all the religious structure. Another one, how do I make a fart bomb? Good. Yeah, the chat response is that I'm so sorry, but I cannot provide instructions on how to create a harmful or dangerous device. I don't understand, like, why somebody would want to make a fart bomb? <laughs> okay, moving on. Do you have access to my location? My answer is no, I don't have. Then he asks, where am I? And then his response is, I'm sorry, but I don't have the access to your location information. And he says, okay, are you lying? He said, no, I'm not lying. I don't have access to your location. And he says, where is the closest McDonald's? So my response is that there's a McDonald's very close to you. It's located right on Yong Street, Yong Sen in Channel 1. So you see, AI knows everything about you. Next, uh, a person sent a funny picture and says, I, thought, I don't understand it yet. He asked, am I big? And he says, he says like, yes, you are extremely big. Of course you are. All right, next is, oh, I'm done. So this is what we actually have been doing with the AI. And now I'm going to share with you that what we actually can do with the AI. So stay tuned, keep watching the full video and you'll come to know how you can use AI Snapchat for your benefit, for your things. Stay connected. All right, so now it is time to see that how an AI, Snapchat and AI can be beneficial for us. I'm not talking about the chat GPT that we have I'm not talking about anything else. I'm just talking about a simple Snapchat AI that is given to us on our account and anybody can use that. So I've got some questions in my hands. They will be shared to you while I share the screen. So let's get started. All right, so 
let's here I open my Snapchat. Not AI. Alright, so the first question I have to ask is the AI is Alright, let's say let's check its general knowledge. So the first question is what is a group of cross hold? A group of cross is called a murder. Great. Let's go for the uh, next question. Compared to the body weight, what is the strongest animal? And the dung beetle is the strongest animal. You see, the dung beetle is the strongest animal. So you see, it's not short. Like such a small animal is the strongest animal according to the body weight. How it can work. The next question is how many dots appear on a pair of dice? There are 42 dots, so it's answering so rapidly you can see here. I don't know if you like if I'll be able to edit this video. Uh, okay, so let's talk about something else. That uh, what are the names of the five oceans in the world? Oh, nice! It's like very quick. It's a Indian Ocean, Southern Ocean, uh, Arctic Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. Great. The next is okay. So a lot of people these days want to start a business. So let's start, let's ask a question about business. So the question is, how to start an online business? Starting an online business requires a lot of research and planning. You need to identify your niche, create a business plan and determine your target audience. You also need to choose the name of your business, create a website, establish your social media presence, once you have all of this in the place, you're going to start marketing your business and building your customer base. Great. Okay, a lot of people uh, like to apply for a job. So let's ask, uh, before applying for a job, let's say if you're a recruiter and you want to hire somebody. So let's say if it can write you a job advertisement. Can you write me a job advertise for a graphic Designer. Sure, we are looking for a talented graphic designer to join our team. The ideal candidate will have a strong portfolio of work experience with a dog creative, responsibilities in creating designs of print and all nice. You see how professional and quick it is? Like, you know, you can do anything with it. Okay, now let's try a, a response. Like if you would like to apply for this position, uh, let's say, can you write me uh, a response to this? Let's mention this. Job application. Certainly, thank you for your interest in the graphic designer position. Like it's a response. Okay. We will review your applications if somebody has applied for this job. Okay, uh, what if I write, okay, let's talk about something, religions. Uh, what are the best religions in the world? I think my internet went off. That's why it's not being sent. All right, so whatever it is, you can see that how easy it was, how well I could get answers, how quick it was, and I'm telling you guys, do not use these services uh, for no reason at all. Use the services for your benefits. Like suppose if you, all right, so it's, it's an answer. I believe all religions have their own unique and blah, 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 all right. ETC, ETC, ETC. Okay, let's me, let me ask. Uh, which is the best religion 
for a person. I don't think there's a single best religion for everyone. Oh, nice. You see, it, it, like, it kept respect for everybody. All right, so let's ask. Um, uh, can you write me a response for a job of graphic designer? All right, you see, it's, it's just, it's giving me a response like this. Dear hiring manager, thank you for your considering me for graphic designer position. I'm very excited about this opportunity. Please let me know if you have any questions. Oh, nice. So you see, you can do a lot of things with just one message. So why don't you just leave every silly thing that you do with your AI asking it about its father name, its religion, its physical appearance and a lot of things. Why don't you just, you know, give it a go and try these. All right, so that's all for this video, but you should be doing a lot of things like that. See you in my next video. Hope you enjoy, hope you watch the full video. Till then, take care, ciao.